Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to download and install 7-Zip. 7-Zip is pretty much an alternative route from using like the old program called WinRAR. I'll probably bring up a meme here to show you. And it's pretty much just another route and this one doesn't have to prompt you to purchase it even though on WinRAR you don't have to pay for it either. It just pretty much expires and you can still use it. Kind of funny. But let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. So first thing you do is go ahead and go ahead and open a browser. And on the top you're going to type in 7-zip.org. If you can't get to that file, if you mistyped or something, you can go to Google and type in 7-zip2 and it should take you to the same locations. There's two different versions right here. There's a current updated one called the alpha and there's the one called regular 7 zip to 19. I'm actually going to choose the current one. Um, it might be actually running more smoother. Now depending on your computer it says that there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit. It would actually be helpful if you open up the Explorer and where it says this PC right click on it and choose properties and find out what type yours is. It tells me that mine is a 64-bit and I'll explain that in a bit after we install this program. So I'm going to choose the current one that says 64-bit and let it download. So here's the file and run the file and you'll probably be prompted like this go ahead and press yes. I'm gonna go ahead and just exit the browser I don't need it anymore and then continue installing the location where it's at underneath programs and it says that the 7-zip has been installed. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to the pretty much explorer and I'm gonna go ahead and go to documents Here's simple files I've tried to test before on it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and show you again. We're gonna choose a new folder and pretend you had a folder called temp, whatever that folder is. And you had files in there. So if say there was a file there, you know what I mean? You would have it inside the system. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and press right click on it. And you can go to 7-zip. And you see it has a 7-zip in this list and it says add to archive and stuff like that. Let's say you've installed a 32-bit on a 64, sometimes this problem is related to it and that's kind of why you've installed the current version for it. So you'll add it to archive and there's more details you want, you want to name it, it'll be 7-zip and I think you can choose it in other types, formats you want, you want it to be a tar, zip, wim, I'm going to leave it as 7-zip and you can put a password and you could also can compress it more too, but I'm going to leave it as is and just press OK. And here's the program. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And here it is. Now I've had this problem before on some people. Let's say they install the program and they try and do a 7-zip but it just stays as no icon. Like it's not set. So if this problem does come up you can go to properties of it. And you'll probably change the format and it'll probably look something like something like this. You'll continue scrolling down and look for another app. And then you'll be into programs to choose 7-zip. And be sure you choose the 7-zip-fm.exe, that's the correct file I think that we use, and apply it, and press apply and okay. And that's what allowed this to open. Another route, in case this doesn't work, you can also go to, pretty much going to settings. And if I'm correctly, go to apps, let's see if it's apps. And if I'm gonna see, let's go to apps, default apps, and we're gonna scroll down to choose the default apps file type give it a little bit of time for it to load right here and then we're gonna look for like 7-zip right here so here's 7-zip file manager that's selected if not you would goes to the route but that's pretty much the route that you will choose for it the 7-zip file manager so FM and that will fix the problem if it doesn't then pretty much you will choose it it's gonna give us the same problem we're going to store um, don't go to that route it's just different how you just change it all up here. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Houghton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.